So your shout outs for this video goes to Joey Mars Bar for his Minecraft theme park videos, Play Koala, Shadow and Sloth, Thorax Changeling and Coasters for Life. Thank you very much for sending your shout outs. If you want your shout out in tomorrow, then send it in the comments down below of these videos and let's get into this theme park newsroom update. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Chow Doncaster Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update on an exciting new live action experience coming in 2021 to London. This is Judge Dread Uprising, this is a brand new two hour live action experience which we're going to talk all about we're going to give you an official statement from the new website that's been set up for the attraction and we're going to give you my thoughts on this as well. So before we get started with this news update, let's tell you guys how you can interact with Coaster Chow YouTube channel. So you can like the video if you've loved it, you can comment down below your thoughts and opinions down below. You can subscribe for more theme park newsroom updates, reviews and vlogs and more. And also ring the notification bell so you never miss any more thrilling YouTube content. Make sure you share the channel with your friends, your family, on social media, your strangers, your neighbours, everywhere around the world. And make sure you can also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved right down there on my little phone of magic. Make sure you also send me your shout outs for the start of tomorrow's videos. And of course make sure you also send me your merchandise with your name and location. A few people have already done it on Instagram and Snapchat. Links are in the description down below for them. And make sure you also send in your questions use the hashtag question before or after your question and uh, <laughs> and then we'll be able to get those questions answered in the 2000 subscriber q and a for when the channel hits 2000 subscribers uh, and don't forget guys if we hit 10,000 subscribers uh, in the next 365 days then we will officially give out Coaster Chow merchandise and another big project that I've got planned in the future. So if you want to see that big project and also you want to see me say at the end of the, at the start of every video, if you want to see 20% off on merchandise, use the code CHOW, then you better get subscribing if you want that. And for now guys, let's get into this theme park news from update about the brand new Judge Dread experience in London for 2021. So according to the official website for the new attraction, it's Britsit 2143 and it's time to explore the world of 2000 ads futuristic London in a brand new sci-fi experience. This two hour immersive live action attraction will test both brains and brawn as you and your fellow perps escape from the ISO block and discover an ultra modern subterranean London. You'll need in ingenuity to outwit the ISO cube, skill to make it out of the ISO block before navigating future Piccadilly Circus and its inhabitants and onto the laser tag battle in the cursed earth before the grand finale in the new Old Bailey. Whether you've been banged up for organ legging, body sharking or just possession of umpty candy, it's time to break out and traverse the new world before you. 150 minutes to fight your way to freedom. So, the new Judge Dread Uprising, the live experience, has been created by the same creators as the Crystal Maze live experience. So, the description on the website claims a two hour experience that sounds like it will mix the adventure of navigating a highly themed environment, an escape room style experience to get out of the ISO block, and a laser tag battle in the cursed earth before experiencing the grand finale in the new Old Bailey. Now you can see a teaser video on Twitter um, and you can also see some concept art which have been running through your screen. However, this is set to open in London and it's set to open for the 2021 season. So there we go. That is the latest details then on Judge Dread Uprising, the live experience, which is coming to London next year in 2021. Now, first of all, I have to say straight off the bat, I knew that an attraction of some sorts like this would be great for London because, of course, London are very famous for their midway attractions. Uh, you've got to look at Shrek's Far Far Away Adventure as the most recent example, but they've got other Merlin and non-Merlin based attractions on the midway. Um, obviously things like Madden Two Swords, Sea Life, uh, they've got loads of other great attractions in the midway and around London as well, so I know London was going to be a great location for this. Now, obviously, now, do any of you remember, I think it was in London, or it might have been somewhere else, I can't remember, I have to do the research on it, but 
There was like a live action alien experience in the UK. It ran for a few years and they refurbished it, I think, a couple of years before it left for the final time. There was like an alien type um, like experience, live action experience. Now, I don't think we've really seen a permanent live action experience like that uh, for a long time. I know Shrek's Far Far Away Adventure is technically like a dart ride uh, on the midway, but in terms of a live action experience, I don't think I've really seen much permanent stuff on that level before or higher than that level. So, and that's just excluding normal dart rides and of course the usual midway attractions like your Babin Two Swords and your Sea Life. But I think this is the void that we have been waiting to fill. This is the void we've been waiting to fill because this is a full live action experience, two hour live action experience nearly. And, you know, basically the statement at the end of the website says it all, it's 150 minutes to fight your way through, free, through freedom. Now, obviously from the description, I have to agree with Screamscape and what they're saying with the fact that it mixes like a, a navigation, with an escape room, with a laser tag, and then a grand finale in the new Old Bailey. So I think that's what we're looking at here in terms of looking at it from a technical standpoint. In terms of attractions and specific attraction scene standpoints, I think we are looking here at a navigation attraction, then a escape room style attraction, then a laser tag attraction, and then some kind of finale. And I'm very excited to see what the finale is going to be. Hopefully in 2021, I really want to get down to London and experience this on the opening day. So uh, if anyone out there from uh, the live experience is watching, I'd love to do some media stuff for you. Uh, but if I can't get down there next year, then I'll try and get down at some point uh, in the near future. Just as long as I get the credit in, because it sounds like a really nice attraction. And if you are going to there into the opening day next year, uh, make sure you comment down below. Uh, because I'd love to know who will be down there next year for this new live experience. Um, but I will try my absolute best to try and get down there and do some media coverage next year because this sounds like an unbelievable attraction. Yes, it's London, but, you know, it's worth it for these kind of attractions. So, you know, I think we're looking here at a, a multi-purpose attraction. I think that's what we kind of describe it as, a multi-purpose attraction. Laser tag, escape room, navigation, and a big finale. So, I think the one of the things I'm looking at uh, very closely with this is how it all blends together. I don't want to see it as just four separate things like one room is a laser tag, one room is a escape room, one's a navigation room and one's a finale scene. I don't want it to be four separate scenes. What I'm looking at with this live action experience with the f with what looks to be the four different types of attractions in this experience uh, blend into one since it is one experience. My overall hope with this and i'm sure they can pull it off is for it not to feel like four individual scenes and rather it be blended together so it's not going from one to the other to the other to the other i hope there's a good transitional period in between attractions so let's say you start off with the navigation route and then suddenly there's a massive good blending um collage or a transition into the next attraction uh so it will merge together very smoothly and it doesn't feel like two separate attractions as part of one overall theme uh, so that's the same, same with the other ones as well so I hope it kind of merges it all together without it feeling like four separate attractions uh, which has always been the hope for me with these live action experiences it's like the Alton Towers dungeon you know I, to be fair I don't mind that that's separate scenes because it's separate points in history with the dungeons so that's why I'm not really judging the dungeons as much by obviously not collaging the scenes as well together but they do do great transitions to say it's different points in history in one attraction uh, same with the Alton Towers dungeon same with York dungeon same with my predictions for Blackpool dungeon and London dungeon and the other dungeons that I haven't experienced yet like Blackpool and London but with these other live action experiences when it's multiple types of attractions with one theme in the same building that's one thing I look for, the fact that it's the same theme, you can't get away with four separate attractions and no transitions between the attractions. So if I do go down there to London next year to experience this on the opening day, one of the big things I'm looking for is for the fact it feels like one attraction, not four separate attractions with one theme. That's the, that's the hope that I've got with this. So uh, I'm sure they can pull it off. I'm sure they're going to pull it off very, very nicely. And I really can't wait to next year to uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, try this out. But... Thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news from update on the Judge Dread Uprising live experience. Uh, this has been incredible news to report. Uh, it's great to hear about another London attraction. 
Um, and it's great to see something non-Merlin. Merlin do great stuff in the Mer in the L London Midway attractions. They do great stuff, don't get me wrong. But I'd like to see some other non-Merlin stuff to make it just a normal London Midway rather than a Merlin Midway. So I think that uh, having this non-Merlin attraction makes it just that little bit better. And the fact that it's the from, from the creators of the Crystal Maze experience, I mean, that is great because I've seen some really good stuff from that. So I think the creators are going to do another fantastic job with this. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park newsroom update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Child, Kill on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys for another update very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.